Okay, back again with another video. Just got a couple of takes from uh, this Saturday. It was very nice outside, and then I got a little on the cool side there. Not cold enough to, you know, just light jacket weather. Not a big deal there. Um, today was record store day, which I did not participate in. And I'll kind of explain why I don't participate in record store day. Um, there's a record store down farther I went to for my one and only record store day, and I just didn't want to repeat of that. It was not bad, but I just, I'm nervous going to places I don't go to very often, you know, traffic and all that kind of stuff, and I just didn't want to want to mess with that. I didn't have any of my friends message me that they were doing any kind of record store day stuff. Uh, there was one that was actually probably about the same amount far away, maybe a little closer, and I didn't know about that record store. I don't know how big of a, a parking that would have been for that one. I just was nervous that, you know, I'd come home with like two or three albums that I didn't need and spend 60 or 70 dollars. You know, it's all good and well to do that every once in a while, but you know, once you, st you do a little bit of eBay here and there, and it all starts to add up, you know, you buy 20 dollars worth of postage you know three times that's 75 dollars and that postage you know is useful stuff you know and sometimes you can use it for you know bills and business but again that's just a cost that you know sometimes you just don't differentiate cost between you know and sometimes these goodwill trips you know become 15 and 25 dollars and if you're not making any money back on there it just gets to be kind of a drag there um, but anyway so yeah record store day happened um, there was one store that was kind of in limbo because the owner died in a motorcycle accident from what I what I heard and they were trying to figure out what to do with the store. I don't know if they were participating in record store day. They were on the list, but that doesn't mean that they were on that they might have been on the list um, um, prior to his accident and may not have gotten removed off that. So maybe they weren't doing that. So I don't really know. And then like I said, there was a new store that I found out about, but unfortunately I only learned about it, you know, a half a or, you know, halfway through the day, and I just didn't want to, you know, go off around 1 o'clock or something trying to get to a record store, you know, with the parking being all kind of crazy, because I don't remember that particular parking area. There's kind of a garage there, sort of, but I don't remember if it was, like, pay parking or what. I hate pay for parking, you know, especially if you're doing a record store day event, and sometimes, you know, these small record stores, you're done in five minutes. Some of these other record stores, you know, in larger cities, well, there was one guy that on a live stream that people had mentioned he had been there for over three hours and spent 200 and some bucks. Craziness. And then there was other things. There's always fun things about Record Store Day. People are always trying to find one customer in the live streams that's been there a while or has got a strange, you know, shirt or, or, or some box set that doesn't sell. I think last year, the year before, it was Tangerine Dream and only one person or nobody had grabbed it. This year was Eric Carr from the... Um, uh, from Kiss, you know, and he and supposedly had a USB port or something and his eyes light up. It was like 45 or 50 dollars. Don't know. It'd be kind of a fun one to pick up. I don't know anything about Eric Carr, but it'd be kind of something kind of fun to play with. I really have no idea, but do I really won't need that? You know, and after record store day, somebody said in the UK it's going for a hundred and some pounds or whatever. Craziness, you know, people are already boosting prices on certain ones, you know, so you just never know. And then, um, and then the mail got here, and it was nothing. Mail, you know, when when you usually get mail that's between, you know, 9 o'clock to 11.30 is usually when it arrives here. And it doesn't usually arrive till like 1.30 in the afternoon on Saturdays. Kind of makes for a nerve-wracking day because that's how you make your videos. You know, you want to do it in daylight. You want to, you know, not be able to have to wait the whole day, you know, and let your mail sit in the box for all afternoon. So you kind of like, oh, I better get it, you know, and so rode my bike down four or five times to see if it was there and finally got it done and I threw that threw a letter in the box won a bowling request that I had forgot about and threw some stamps on there and uh, so there was that one but I will probably check out record store day online afterwards I didn't even really look at the list here if anybody knows what was on there or if they, anybody has gotten anything from record store day put down in the comments below if you got anything there so I'm pretty much done with the video here like I said record store day a lot of my friends um, might participate in it a lot of them call it a cash grab a lot of people just say it's just you know a waste of time and effort but it's something to do with your friends whether you buy anything or not you know and somebody nicely pointed out is that um, people are only there for the record store day releases and when they don't find what they want they leave and it's kind of a, you know it would be a nice thing to do is buy a couple other ones that are not record store day releases so at least you support your local record store you know if you have a small business and and you've been there you know like small business Saturday and not one person shows up to your store it gets really you know really like what even is the point you know I know some businesses like that 
Um, you know, support your small business, and then no one does, and it just really stinks for them. You know, but then they're going off to the Timu or Temu or whatever it is, and buying you know um, stuff put together by um, Chinese that are making like a fraction of a cent. You know, the whole day, really awful kind of situations there. But you know, people are looking for like you know a whole bunch of stuff and whatever you know you can only give so many discounts before you start going backwards and then they say well I'm gonna leave you know and um, if you don't buy it and it doesn't bother me if somebody you know I mean it does kind of you know if you but you know like I said when I used to do the swap meets back in the day I had tons of 25 cent stuff because I know that people pay their six dollars or one dollar to get in and they only brought ten dollars with them and if I can get them to buy anything on my table that I, I didn't have to throw away I would happy to take that quarter as long as I was at least you know you know making money on everything I wouldn't bring something if I wasn't gonna make money on it you know and people say why don't you bring fifty dollar items well I'm stuck with a bunch of fifty dollar items obviously you know my friend brought a bunch of expensive records and it was the five and ten dollar records that were selling all day long you know and then I you know I cannot you know I, I don't know it's just the, the swap meets just really are a drain on me because you got to be there all day even though if you're having fun with friends just a lot of work and I much rather be a customer and leave when I feel like it you know um, so that's pretty much all that is so I hope everybody had a good weekend like I said um, if you haven't checked out record store day you can check it out online or see if your record stores are open on Sundays which they're probably not um, like I said I live right next to a record store and I'm pretty sure they weren't not product they were not participating in RSD Record Store Day. And if this other one is, is open tomorrow, I might go check them out. That would be kind of fun to do that. And then I will see what's available online, like I do every year. And, you know, I don't have to worry about it because most of the stuff that I wanted was all there. Regardless, it was a limited, and then things will be repressed and put onto, you know, a release for everyone. And so these limited edition releases, which are usually not numbered anymore, there's almost no point. Sometimes they come with extra posters and colored vinyl, but in the end, you know, um, a lot of the people uh, that my, a lot of stuff my friend was selling was the reissues or re-releases, and people said, "Oh, I was looking for the original," you know, and that's unfortunate. But you know, what can you do? So, hope you enjoyed the weekend. Um, mixed bag for me, but that's okay. Not to worry about it. I gotta be somewhere like right now. And thank you for watching.